In the winter of 2015, the public noticed thousands of dead seabirds washing ashore across the western coast of the United States and Canada. The U.S. Geological Survey later linked this massive seabird die-off to the North Pacific Marine Heat Wave. A marine heat wave occurs when sea surface temperatures are above normal for an extended period of time. This marine heat wave caused ocean temperatures to increase far above normal from 2013 to 2016, making it the longest marine heat wave on record. This sharp increase in warm water impacted prey communities, especially forage fish, and contributed to the starvation of an estimated 1 million common mures from Southern California to Alaska. During the heat wave, key forage fish such as Cape Lynn and Sand Lance were less abundant and smaller in size than before the marine heat wave. Smaller reproducing Cape Lynn tend to lay fewer eggs, which could have reduced their ability to produce offspring. Meanwhile, Sand Lance populations were composed of much smaller fish than in some areas. Their lack of growth greatly reduced the amount of fat and energy available to seabirds that rely on them as food. These changes to forage fish populations may have been due to bottom-up factors, such as warmer water coinciding with a decrease in size and energy content of the zooplankton that the fish feed on. At the same time, larger forage fish individuals were missing from the ecosystem. This may have been due to top-down factors, such as predation from larger fish that needed to eat more due to an increased metabolism in the warmer water. These combined top-down and bottom-up factors resulted in an overall reduction in several key forage fish species, and this was the primary cause of the major seabird die-off. The marine heat wave had the greatest impact on common mures, a seabird that primarily feeds on forage fish. These seabirds likely died from starvation, as the majority of the carcasses examined had empty stomachs and no body fat. Additionally, some of the seabirds contained mostly low levels of saxitoxin, the toxin that causes paralytic shellfish poisoning, which is produced by harmful algal blooms. Although the primary cause of mortality was starvation, the algal toxins could have been an additional stressor during the marine heat wave. The USGS continues to investigate the harmful impacts of algal blooms on seabirds and their food webs. Seabirds serve as ocean sentinels and are indicators of the health of the marine environment. The USGS is studying the impacts of the marine heat waves on ocean food webs using seabirds and their prey as key indicators. Such studies assess the health of northern waters that are important for commercial fisheries and Alaska native subsistence. These efforts allow citizens, scientists, and resource managers to better understand and anticipate future responses of marine ecosystems to warming global temperatures. If you'd like to learn more about the North Pacific Marine Heat Wave, please visit the links below.